So we're back here at West Northeast and we're getting such an itchy trigger finger we really want to we have the need to travel and um, we can't do that right now. So the next best thing is we're at the best airport on planet Earth. We're at Changi Airport about to go to the, the Jewel Changi, which is the largest indoor waterfall on planet Earth. It is breathtaking. All the, uh, it seems like a lot of these shops are open. And just in case you all are wondering, yes, we've already been back here once in the last two months. We watched people playing in the snow in a box in the middle of one of the terminals here. It was pretty. It was a pretty surreal scene, and the queue to get in there was ridiculously long. So people were super into it. So it's been raining nonstop. So we wanted to go somewhere where we could walk around and try to maybe even get some exercise while we window shop and just get out of the rain and get out of the condominium and um, explore what we got. So hopefully you all like these videos. We're going to show you all shortly. So stay tuned. Hi, we're at the top floor of the canopy park of that waterfall at Tangi Airport, Jules Tangi, and um, we've never been up here before. I never have. We had to pay admission. There's a myriad of uh, adult themed things to do up here, I guess. Uh, we're at the canopy park. I don't know what it does, but um, we're about to go check it out and uh, go through this indoor outdoor jungle. Let's see what we got. Hi, we're eating a 
early dinner at the Japanese restaurant at Jewel Changi. And uh, we ordered selfishly, well, our favorite foods is salmon of any kind. So we got salmon sushi, got a salmon head soup coming here in a little bit. We got a whole fish coming of some sort. As you all can see, we have a, our ambiance is spectacular. You pan over, you can see that we're at the base of the waterfall. And uh, gonna have some real authentic Japanese food. I don't ever use soy sauce. We'll see if this stuff is any good. These salmon slices are huge. We're here on a promotional deal. No problem. I'm putting an exorbitant amount of wasabi on here. Let's give this a whirl. This is outrageously good. That's our first bite. The slab is huge, it's super fresh. The flavor's on point. It's just utterly perfect. And it, <clears throat> we're gonna have to put the camera down so Joy can enjoy this too, because it's time and this stuff is amazing. We'll get back with a few more dishes. This is starting off really, really well. So our next dish is baked scallop with spicy salmon mayo, egg and rice. Sounds like a unique combination. Um, I don't remember last time I've eaten a scallop. And um, definitely seems interesting. I don't know what salmon mayo is. So there's rice underneath this. It looks really opulent. I'm gonna take one bite here, see what this entails. It's really nice, the mayonnaise blatantly tastes like salmon. The scallop didn't have much flavor to it. It wasn't really fishy or shellfish, had that shellfish flavor to it, but it, it, it's good. Here, I guess I'll spread the egg around on here for joy, but this is unique. And besides ramen and sushi, I'm not super familiar with Japanese food. So hopefully this is a good start to more down the, more down the line. So I'm about ready to try this salmon head. I don't know what the broth or the soup base, I have no idea what it is on here. I'm gonna try to compare this to the fish head curry as far as taste. Now the fish head curry is made with, with red snapper. And this is salmon. So I don't know what to expect. expect. I have no expectations on this. Mm. This is good too. I don't know, like I said, I, I wish I knew what the flavors were in it. But this is, this is outstanding. I would definitely get this again. This is great, this is the first salmon head I've ever had. And it's living up to the expectations I had, it's really good main course, the sari fish, S-A-U-R-Y. And um, I have no expectations, I've never had this before. It came with some side dish of some anchovy looking things. And I don't even know how to open this, we don't have silverware. So I'm gonna try to tear into a bite of this and see how this is. Mm. It's really good, it has a equilibrium texture, it's not, sweecy, not sweet, it's not spicy. It's not overly anything, it just tastes like really perfectly good fish. Maybe you're supposed to add some of the condiments to it, or I don't know, but this is, this is pretty solid. It's super juicy, it looks like it's grilled to perfection. This is great, I'm enjoying some authentic Japanese food here, so.